Dude, it's been so long since I've been in the snow. Also, like, <laughs> ah! oh. <laughs> what was... that was a sneeze. Don't worry about it. What was that? <laughs> so, that was so. That was such a strange sounding sneeze. Not the not the average sneeze. I like to like differentiate that. myself from the rest of the pack, you know? Uniqueness Clearly. is good. Woo! All right, now my eyes are all red. Yeah, like I was saying, I haven't been to the snow in a long time. I didn't even get a chance to go snowboarding this year. God dang it. I need to do that next year. Then again, I haven't actually been on an airplane in like a year. I just want to go great. on a tube on a really, really gradual, nice, calm hill. It's called inner tubing. That exists. Yeah, I want to do that. Also, there, there's like the ones up in Big Bear where it's got like it, you get on like the little sled and then it goes on like, like the man-made trail thing. Um. So yeah, last time that I was in Utah, because that's usually where I end up going to go snowboarding. Mm -hmm. Um, we like after the day is over, <clears throat> often like we'll go and do a, a sledding thing. And the oh last time it was so <clears throat> gnarly. It was this like single track on these super fast uh, uh, sled, toboggan, whatever you want to call it. That was scary, dude. Yeah, it's like when I go, trees on either side, and when I go sledding or tubing, I want it to be relaxing. I want it to be like, well, not relaxing, but just fun. Like, like I don't have to worry about myself. Yeah, no, this this was like, oh, I have to actually worry about breaking my neck. It's a little bit scary. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know. Um, granted, nobody if ended up dying, but. Uh, like, I'm just dragging my- god darn it, are you serious? I'm just dragging my boots, like, holding on for dear life the entire time behind me, trying to slow myself down. I want a snowy version of a lazy river, basically, is what I want. <laughs> I mean, that exists it's in It's a nice, the... like, winter wonderland tour, but on a- on, a, on an inflatable... Uh-huh. ...tube. That certainly exists in the, you know, the the guided uh, pay for going down the run. But when you gotta, when you gotta do it on your own, no. you got the single tracks to deal with. No. Also, I just don't like being in the snow. Really? Oh, I, I enjoy the snow. Yeah, you didn't have to live in it. That's true. I can get when my you, dosage when you have to when live I in it, it for like most of your life. You're kind, you kind of become over it. Right. Snow is like. It's more of something that hinders you rather than something that. Did you fun have to life. shovel out like your driveway and all that kind of stuff? Uh, it's like certain some places that I lived, like we had like people that would come and do it for you. Uh huh. Uh, I just view that as like the kind of cliche. Yeah, they're definitely. I live in that. snow activity. It just sucks because like yeah, like in high school you'd have to go out and you'd have to clear the ice off of your car window every morning and like you go out oh, to your right. car and you let it you like just let God, your car idle it. in the driveway for. 15 minutes while it warms up. So what I've always said is like, if I lived in a snowy place, I would absolutely live in a, a condo building. Something that just... had like an indoor garage. Yeah, an indoor garage. You don't have to worry about any of the maintenance yourself. It just yeah, seems exactly. so much easier. Yes, at least like if you had a house, like an HOA or something that like took care of the driveways for you. Right. Yeah, it's just, man. I'm imagining living in, I don't know, what's like Toronto is a real snowy place, but it's a big yeah. city, so you could get a, an apartment there. Yeah. And, and to, that seems it. like it would be ideal. That would be better, especially living in a more urban environment where you could get, like, get on the subway and not have to deal with like your car and sliding yeah. around on the road. That's mm -hmm. also scary is like every once in a while you'll just be heading to an to intersection and then you're just like, oh, I'm sliding. I'm sliding. I hope I don't hit this car in front of me. Okay. Really? Oh, all, right. Yep. all right. Yep. And then you don't. <laughs> At least I never did. I mean, obviously people do. It does happen, but it's like you see it happen all the time. At least yeah. in like Minnesota, it was so bad. I also, think I need to actually get new tires on uh, one of my cars because I have actually had a, a bit of sliding going on. I know this says no gas, but I, yeah, I, I, trust I was I was a little bit confused by this like flat area. Uh, uh oh, that uh, yeah, that's not oh. gonna happen. Um. Okay. Whoa, my God, we're back at the beginning? Are you serious? Oh, oh. Okay. Maybe this is like a, you gotta do it flawlessly thing. It must be, honestly. Holy crap. Like you just can't hit rocks at all. Yeah, you have to I'm gap thinking. everything. Go, oh, come on. I think <gasps> that's uh, okay, this is, come on, please. I just need full speed off this, maybe? 
I don't know. I don't know. What do you want from me? This is it. This is it. Good, 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 good. Yes. Okay. You no! better. You better. <laughs> Really? Oh, boy. Wait, I but there. I, there's still more to go. Watch me mess this up. I was there. Watch me mess this up, though. Okay, no gas. No gas. Oh, God. <gasps> Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay. I'm worried now, though. I'm so worried. <clears throat> Good. Please. Please don't mess this up for me. Please don't mess. I don't know where to gas and where to not gas. Oh, this is it. This is it. We got it. <laughs> sucks. It sucks. Yeah, there were no checkpoints the entire way. Oh my god. That's why it was hard, because if there were checkpoints, that would have been a easy peasy. There's no way I could do this in 20 seconds, right? No, there's not. Yeah, actually, there you go. I think you're gonna... God not. damn it! Right as I... I just wanted to <laughs> land it. You <laughs> just wanted to see if you could make it. You oh, you're probably on your camera now, but my guy is floating around like he's possessed. I don't see it. No. I lost. Okay. Hey, this map is marked as easy, so but it's a hard. It's a hard that is also easy. I like. I like it when the title confuses with the difficulty. It's a good look. Super easy, marked extreme. Or dreams in the sky. That is really so confusing. It's leading. In fairness, okay, dreams in the sky was only difficult for that one part. And the, so, it's the part that you never made, which I guarantee you, at this point... I probably could. You would hit it no problem. Really? I don't even just, know, what was, what was the trick involved It was it? just, was I think it was you had to clear some, like, gap that would, like, be glass and it would shatter on you or something like that. I can't remember exactly. What? Sounds... It was fun. It was not fun. That's not the experience I had. I had fun with it, personally. You... I mean, yeah. You think so. Okay, I like how we just... By by going off of these big gaps and stuff, we just clear, like, half the map. What are you doing, Vike? Messed up. Messed up. Bummer. Okay, messed up again. Oh, I'm, I'm just clearing a bunch of whistles here, dude. We're, we're, we're bouncing whistles. on some whistles. Whistles? Yeah. Really? You're gonna see it. It's like, oh, they holy, look like whistles. Yeah. What? Where's the ref? Uh, the I'm over right here. Now? He's he's following me, dude. He's following the first place person. Am I the ref? I no, I'm the, or I'm with the ref right now. He's with oh, me. I thought you were, because I'm following you. So I thought I would. No, no, no. I was saying like, he's with me. He's just checking that everything is going to uh, regulation. Is kosher. Yeah. He's kosher pickles. Wait, oh God. Are you a fan of kosher pickles? I yeah, sure. I don't think I've I ever have, had I'm any. I'm a fan actually. of all pickles. Not all pickles? Are kosher, you you're in the you're into brand. pickles? I like pickles. Yeah. Okay. I'm and, I'm a little bit mixed. It depends. Plain. It's not. Oh my god. Are you serious? Oh yeah. I I, I could eat pickles just as a snack. Okay. Not really as much my thing, honestly. I generally like pickled vegetables because I'm gross. Oh, you like applying the pickled principle to like everything? Not everything, but a lot of things. I like a lot of pickled peppers. Are you Peter Piper? I actually might be. That'd be cool. I feel like I if you were Peter Ancestry Piper, test. you would be heir to the the fortune of a lot of pickle dynasties. <laughs> is that, that has, I mean, I'm sure it is. I'm sure there has to be a pickle dynasty because goddamn, there's a duck dynasty. I'm like, sure that if you look on like the Forbes list of billionaires, wait, some... I beat you. Yeah, that was dumb. How did that happen? Uh, by you being, I don't know. I got pickled. I was in a pickle. Okay, on but I'm Santo? sure if you look on, Monsanto like, owns like a bunch of pickles. That's, yeah, that's if you look on the Forbes list of billionaires, I'm sure someone on there is a, a, an heir to the pickle dynasty of some kind. Jesus. <laughs> the, and I hope their name is Tommy. Tommy. Oh, I, I see. You get it? Damn it. Hey. Damn it. <laughs> there we go. That's all, folks.